Okay, so you said uh, I stopped being ahead from the time when uh, I was talking about uh, labor turnover. Eh? Yes, sir. Turnover is about people leaving. Uh, the organization and then the average number of leavers who are replaced divided by the average number of employees then we might apply that by a hundred to get a percentage okay then there's an example of uh, how to Calculate labor turnover in during the year one thousand eight hundred individuals were recruited, and at the end of the year, the company employed a total of five thousand five hundred individuals. Now, uh, the question is, what is the labor turnover during the year to the nearest? Okay, so let's continue with that example. Um, at the start of the year, you had 4,600 employees. Then you recruited the 1,800. So when we add together, the total number of employees then you ended up having is 6,400. But then at the end, when you do a head count, there are 5,500 remaining. So what does it leave us? It gives us that 900 of those employees left. Yeah, they left the, the, the company. Now, we need to find the average number of employees, first of all, from the beginning, at the beginning and at the end. So what you do is you get the beginning number, 4,600 plus 5,500, which is the ending number. 
divide that by two. It gives you 5,050. Then you have labor turnover. Therefore, is going to be, according to that formula that we, we talked about here, average number of laborers who are replaced over average number of employees times 100. So average 900, which was the people that left over uh, the average number of employees, which is 5,050 times 100%, that gives us 18% as the labor turnover. Okay, I'm sure that is very, very straightforward. The thing only to remember is on the formula, the use of the word average, average, average. That's all. Good. I was also saying uh, there are many reasons that uh, makes people to leave the organization, such as redundance, such as dissatisfaction over prospects or pay or hours or conditions of service, people are not happy. Personal advancement, they want to move on and maybe they have been promoted somewhere else. They found a nice job. Uh, lack of career structure, lack of training, married or pregnant, or they have been discharged or dismissed move for from locality to another place so they cannot maintain the job or any other changes in the domestic circumstances that can make people to leave then i was also saying there are costs of labor turnover when people leave there are costs these costs include when you interviews for them before they leave what's happening now Okay, uh, so you want to find out, are, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Oh, there are those which are called the living costs. You go to hold the interviews. Uh, to find out why they are leaving. Then you also do pre preparation of documentation, disruption of output and things like that, producing. Then uh, the uh, others costs, which we call replacement costs. These are costs like uh, when you are uh, uh, holding interviews, I mean, sorry, you, 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 you advertise, then yes, you're going to hold interviews for selection. Then you got uh, the whole procedures that have to do with HR anyway. All the procedures that have to do with HR, there are costs involved. Training costs, cost uh, when they come in, there's internal and external costs. Yeah. For the uh, internal costs, you may uh, be thinking about uh, uh, in, among the internal costs, you may be thinking about uh, uh, training them in terms of um, uh, induction or job on training and things like that. External courses could be those ones you send them to school or colleges and they go and do some work there as well okay then it is learning costs the learning cost is 
you are the employees is slow in the initial production they have high wastages or scrap rates a lot of materials can get 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 spoiled because they're learning there are also two breakages they can increase the accidents and poor service which they could be rendering all those are costs so it's not easy to just to say we'll replace you the, the, you even if you leave yeah it's always going to have those problems mm -hmm. then uh, uh how do you prevent a uh, high labor turnover we said you need to pay people satisfactory wages and you also give them good working conditions anyway uh creating good informal relationship between members of staff it's very important then you offer good training schemes and the well understood career or promotion ladder you also need to improve the content of the job to for them to have job satisfaction and uh, try to avoid uh, redundancies by having a good human uh, a human resource planning or plan good so those are asp aspects or to do with the uh, labor now the next one <laughs> it's quite uh, I could have loved this one. We uh, we do it physically. Okay, the one right. now that has to see uh, that have to do with the accounting now for labor costs. How to come come up with the how to calculate for your pay slip. Mm -hmm. So, is it possible we could come and start from there? Yes, sir. Okay. Joseph says we should start from there. Anyone yes, uh, okay do that? Everybody agreeable? So, come and remind me we are supposed to start from accounting for labor costs. Meantime, you need to see that you do those exercises that we talked about, eh? For the remaining period that you, you have. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Any question? So the question the question still remains the same the videos no me have been sending to mike mike chalwe who is mike chalwe so we don't even know him. the guy in academic when you come on monday i'll show you who is the chalwe <laughs> we have to go to okay. him. No, because, okay, the system is, is that me, I forward to him. Then him, he has come up with a platform they were mentioning to me, which he, if he, he like, if, if you are and he, that system spreads to all of you, sends to all of you. Then there your be email like, so. addresses. uh well uh, today i haven't i was checking on him in fact i was trying to ask him but i'm told today he's working from home so uh but uh, tomorrow i'm around here up to friday i will still be in touch with him all right so i'll be uh, me i send and i i label them like that to say we have done this yeah so like this one after an hour or so it will pop on my uh, it will come on my mail and that's when i will be able to 
to send. So why can't you just get our emails and then just forward them to us? No, the system my from my computer I can't do it. I can't manage because them they have created a, a one off. Well, That's what they, they said. Okay, okay. So we said, why can't you do that to our computers and things? They said, no, 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 this system is done from here. And that's when they, they send. All right, so. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you.